Spitfire, bullet damage decreased from 18 to 19. What? What did you say? <laughs> What's good, What's Nation? This, this your boy was coming at you with another Apex Legends video today. Today, we'll be reacting to Apex Legends Season 8 Battle Pass trailer. And we got some patch notes that I have live. And we're going to go right over all this information together. So we can uh, see what's coming for season eight officially, officially. So if you're new around here, I want to say thank you guys for all the people that subscribed recently and all the people that stick around me and they support the grind. We have gained like 50 followers and within like the last month or so. And it's really, a and uh, yeah. So if that doesn't, you know, if that's not enough to make you subscribe, watch the video all the way through. And if you like the video, subscribe, drop a like. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this review. All right. Season 8 Battle Pass trailer is here. We know we're getting a lifeline skin and stuff. And we know the the longbow skin is the reactive skin. But uh, let's just watch it and see what what's going on. It's time to bring the boom. I told you, the box stops with me. As you explode into the mayhem of our all new battle pass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know people people get on me about doing this, but you remember when we had the? I don't know if y'all ever remember it, but does that look like a custom skin for his mortar? No, does it not? Or is that just me? Does that look like spikes on her drone? Or is that just me? I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I'm just, it's just me. Maybe it's me. You explode into the mayhem of our all new battle packs. Jam packed with rewards. That's getting fired up. Reigns as legends take it to the extreme. Bing. Bing. Oh. A twisted new set of cosmetics. Next round's on me. That clothesline is massive. Delve into the dark side of Lifeline as she goes bad to the bone. While wreaking havoc with the chain beast flatline. You looking for a rhythm? I gotcha beat. Mm. And unleash your inner warlord and take radical action as Bangalore exerts her dominance with the reaction. I'm about to be a Bangalore X1 man. Longbow. Too slow on the draw. That Legends skin is so their personal sexy. experience to the edge with the dynamite set of new music packs, loading screens, banners, and gun charms. A new set of quips and hollow sprays bring the swagger. And show off the fiery new skydive emotes as you blaze towards Yo, and obliterate the skin. Yo, that is that is clean. I I know maybe I'm overreacting, but I like that one. That was some that was low key kind of some slide to bloodhound, but we're gonna let we're gonna rewind. We're gonna rewind this one more again. We're gonna rewind this one more again. That portal that portal John was fired too. And show off the fiery new skydive emotes as you blaze towards an obliterated king's cat. Yeah. Oh, that is. It's time to light the fuse and yes. bring the bruise. So let's go full blast into shock and awesome. Didn't you hear, mate? Only with the season eight battle pass. What? Next time you want to take a swing at fuse, don't. What did he say? <laughs> that hey, 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 hey. That that was good. That was good. I like it. I'm excited. Um, we will be live streaming season eight tomorrow. So hey, don't you make sure y'all hey make sure y'all be there. All right, all right, all right. Now that we saw the the trailer, let's see the patch notes and what they're changing. And all y'all already know. I I love when a new season for Apex come out. I love watching the trailers. I think the best thing about apex besides the gameplay is their cinematic uh universe and really i wish they'll make a show but we are getting a new legend fuse talk about his tactical his passive his ultimate i'm pretty sure you guys already watched the videos on twitter or the devs or whoever um using all this but long story short he can stack extra grenades fire grenades faster and farther uh launch a cluster bomb that continually spells air burst explosive on impact I've seen somebody use this to uh, to breach a door. Um, launch a bar that enlarges the circle in flames. We all seen this already, so you guys know. The 33rd repeater, uh, the heavy ammo lever action repeater boost hard hitting rounds that that nail a flame mirage at 200 paces. All right, listen. Apparently, this is between a G7 and what they say, a G7 and a longbow. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'd like the gun to be OP, but I'm glad they added it because it looked like it'll be more of a skillful gun 
and um then a gun that uh people will how can i put it instead of like a r99 or a volt where anybody can pretty much pick it up and shred it's like gonna be more skillful so if you have good aim it will um probably pay off a lot for you with this uh well yeah we already know king came out get an update the legendary magazines apparently uh only post attach it to a weapon automatically reloads your stole weapons after a brief delay so that's pretty much it that's the only added effect it doesn't have any extra uh effect so it, you don't get more bullets nothing so i i don't know how i feel about that i never had a problem with reloading my gun so i guess for people that do forget having a gold magazine will be dope so that's excited to see we finally get a damage counter that that that's one exciting thing I'm, I'm glad they did bring we now have added a damage counter to the hud this will highly request a feature so we're excited a lot of people easy tracking to chase those badges and yes i i've never had a 4k badge i've gotten close probably once twice that's about it but now that i got a damage tracker i'm probably gonna start doing a lot more poke damage you know what i'm talking about uh, ping and ammo. Ping your weapons or ammo in your inventory displays your current ammo count along with the player wants ammo in a quick chat. Interesting. I like to see this in um in games like see how this works, but that's dope. Uh, healing and revival will now follow colorblind rules when colorblind settings are enabled. Uh, lore blurbs on cannon skins. Some of our skins are cannon, and some are just for fun. For skins that represent an important part of the character's backstory, we add a small blur to describe the significance of that skin in the legend's life. Um, okay. I'm not sure what that means, but I would love to see it. All right, legend meta. This is what we wanted to see. This is all the juicy information. Uh, yeah, Rafe got her, finally got her hitbox adjustment. Dev note, we know Wraith will always be a popular pick considering the amount of combat utility in her kit, yes. After many tweaks her abilities and animation, the fact remains that her win rate continues to be at the very top as it has since day one. Excuse me. With season seven hitbox adjustment to Pathfinder, we were able to control his power without nerfing his kit. We have to do the same with Wraith. Wraith now has a slightly larger hitbox than her fellow small legends. But the changes stay true to her model, as you can see in the before and after comparison. We're adding some width, mostly in the torso and the legs. So her old, it, her old hitbox. Mm. 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 Yeah, I don't think this gonna be. Yeah, race about to get clap now all right so they said she's gonna keep she's gonna keep low profile but with this hitbox a little bigger i think she's gonna get clapped but we'll see how you play a game skill is skill i don't care how you look at it in my opinion rapper she don't sheila her ultimate her angle increase from 120 to 180 thank you Wild health in build phase increased from 1 HP to 45 HP. Sniper round steer sniper round still pierced through. Okay, okay, okay. Cause when the, when she would build her wall up, they would just one shot it and it drop. Okay. But I do like the fact that you can move Sheila around more often. Maybe they give her a, a reason to put it up. Ramper has remained at the bottom across our performance metrics since her release. Cause she's trash. Uh her kids very much built around. Proactively setting up a powerful position, but in a game as fast moving as Apex, we determine her walls should have some reactive power as well. We're keeping a careful eye on this. Honestly, that's why I don't think you can do it. Unless you're gonna change her ultimate or something, you probably got to just buff the crap out of her walls. Cause besides that, Rapper will always be the the worst legend to play in Apex Legends. Uh, Horizon Gravity Lift cooldown increased from 21 seconds to 25 seconds. The 15 second cooldown time will now start when the gravity lift disappears. Mm. Mm. Okay. Horizon released strong to the point where she rivals Wraith in the rate and win rate and pick rate. For the time being, we are monitoring her use and checking whether or not the cooldown change has an effect. Oh god. Alright, I'll say it like this. Right? I'm gonna say it like this. I feel like Horizon. I don't wanna be that person that says she needs a nerf. I don't think she needs a nerf. I think maybe this will help balance her a little more. Cause when you find a horizon, 
You I and I'm guilty of doing the same thing. And they about to kill me. You know what I do? I cue straight up in the sky. All right, now you got to readjust your aim. By the time you get all that, I'm already popping the shield back, spinning in circles and shit. And then by the time I come to the ground, you still ain't healed up. And I'm just going to pop you. Bing, I won. So hopefully this will help and people won't just be able to spam uh, her tactical all the time. But we'll see. Octane. Launch pad remaster. Hey, my boy finally got this freaking buff we've been waiting for. Many players may have known about Octane Super Jump that was possible with a well-timed jump while hitting the pad. Once the double jump option was introduced, there was an input clash that led to unreliable usage. We, de we decided to add some launch options that are better defined than the old Super Jump. Hitting the jump pad from a standing position will launch players along a high arc, the speed and trajectory of the old Super Jump. From a crouch position, players will launch along a low arc, meaning they will fly lower but farther in a horizontal direction. All right, crypto, you can't you can't stick RSR to drones no more. That's kind of that. Okay, that's fair. Loba, loot inside and open care package is now visible with eye quality and accessible through the black market boutique. Wow. Wow. Okay, they're really trying to make Loba a good legend now. Oh, okay, okay, I like that, I like that. Caustic, all gas now dissipated as soon as Caustic's team is limited. Thank you. Mariah decoys create footsteps out. Now, this is going to be, this is going to be confusing. Uh, the change was mistakenly mentioned in the Fight Night patch notes when it was, in fact, coming with this patch. But apparently Mirage Decoy is supposed to make foot sounds the whole time, but apparently they did. So now that they're doing this, we'll see how this is going to turn out for Mirage mains and now uh, if this ultimate actually will trick people. Now, I think good players will still be able to figure it out, but uh, we'll see. Uh, fully kitted weapon rotation. They removed the Wingman, the Sentinel, the Havoc, the G7 the alternator. Thank you. They added the R301, the 3030 repeater, the Mozambique, the Lone Bow, the DMR, and the Spitfire. Wow. Whoa, they're removing the gold barrel from the loop pool? Why is that? I like the gold barrel. But that is dope that they add the R301 back to the gold weapon meta. Uh, the 3030 repeater, that would be awesome to use. And the Mozambique, probably going to smack. I wish they'd just get the Mozambique some more, some more rounds. The Mozambique's really a good gun uh, with hammer points. Besides that, it's trash. But... Mm. What else? Hop ups. The double tap hop will be removed from loop pool. Thank you. The anvil rounds will be added back. Mm. Okay, I wasn't tripping about it. I like the anvils. I wish they would bring disrupted rounds back though. Volt bolt damage. Volt bullet damage decreased from 16 to 15. Alternated bullet damage increased from 15 to 16. Okay, so they just switched around the Volt and the Alternator. I think the Volt still will be a top tier gun, even if the Alternator, because the Volt shoots faster than the Alternator, so it doesn't matter. Spitfire, bullet damage decreased from 18 to 19. What? What did you say? Why? The, 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 it was already good. Reload speed decreased from 2.8 to seconds to... Okay, that's not bad. But if you run Ramper, that doesn't even matter. Empty, empty reload speed decreased from 3.33 3 seconds to 3.8. Why did you add the bullet, the damage increase though? That's that's mm, that is very curious. Uh, Eve eight fits fire fire rate increase from two point oh to two point one. Hmm. All right, and then pretty much everything else is bug fixes. All right, there you have it. Those are the patch notes. I want to know what you guys think. The patch notes, the gameplay trailer. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of that. I like it. I enjoy. It. I'm glad the Anvil round is back. Uh, the Anvil receiver. I wish they would bring Disruptors round back, even if it's just for a limited time more. I know it was OP, it was cracked, it was retarded, but I'm really trying to run Disruptor and Hammer Points. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited for Season 8. Don't forget, I will be live streaming Season 8 live on this YouTube channel come tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you guys be there or be square or whatever that saying is. But yeah, if you're new around here, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Season 8. Peace.